How's it going? So I realized I forgot how to show you how to actually set the filter like the most basic fundamental way to set the filter. Okay, so the first thing you do, we are following the tutorials, so you need to get the basic table, copy and paste it in here. I'm gonna link um, the code and the uh, link to the repo in the description below so you can see it. Alright, so the next thing you do is get filter model and then we put it into the table instance, which is in here. Right. The next thing we want to have a function. Honestly, let me do it from scratch. One second. Okay, so once you copy and paste the basic table, which is going to be in here, so take it and then create a new one, which I call basic one filter. Copy and paste it, that's what it's going to look like. Now, in my ones, you'll see that I have messed around a bit with column definitions. I have some that are empty, I think, in here. But anyway, that doesn't matter. You can just put uh, the column definitions by your, whichever way you want. Okay, so the next thing we need to do, we need to do is to put the... Okay, so we need to get the hook going first, which is get filter draw model. So sometimes when it's not filtering, it's because you forgot to import the hook. And then you just do this with it, right? Get filter draw model. And then that's it, it should be here. Yeah. Okay, so if your filter is not filtering, most likely that's the problem. I run into it multiple times. Okay, so let's create. So we're gonna have this thing here. That's gonna be our field. That's gonna be our table. Um, so we're gonna create three buttons in here. When we click on them, we're gonna get. Let's do. Um, let's do Grady. So it's gonna show us Grady. When we. So Grady. Let's do another one, which is going to be Tana. And then we're going to do reset button. So very simple. Uh, we're going to target the first name. Now you have some missing. It's because I messed around with the columns. Remember? Okay. All right. So the first thing we need to do, we need to set up uh, three buttons, right? So three buttons real quick button. So this will be Grady. I mean, I probably should have used them. Um... Ah, that's great. Okay. So this is going to be Grady, Tana, and then uh, this is going to be reset. Okay. So the next thing we need to do, we need to create a on click functions. Actually, I'll do it for all of them. One second. Okay, so before we do that, I will show you a just basic on-click function, right? So, look, function, handle, filter. We're gonna put, we're not gonna put anything into it. So, remember, you need two things. You need to get the column, and you need to set the column's filter, which is literally that simple. So, what do we need? First, we need to, we need to get the column. So, let column well, let's do all columns all columns equals to table instance dot get well look let's just let's just console log this you'll see we'll do it step by step so you don't get lost oops Oh, that's because we're not triggering it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So we need to probably call it then straight away handle. So let's just call it straight away. So we'll be able to see it. Otherwise, it's not going to console log, you know? Okay. So there you go. Get all columns. Do you see this function here? So we're going to use it. So we put get dot get all columns. There you go. So this gives us access to all of the columns so now look if we look in here there are all of our columns 
Okay, so now we need to target specific one. So all, so let go, let first name equals to, now in here it's pretty much standard JavaScript. Just that filter and then element, element. Well, remember they have, there are probably many ways to do it, but I do it by ID. You see like there is like header ID or filter function or the easiest is just uh, ID, right? So the first name is the ID. Uh, where did it go? Whoopsie. Oh, there it is. So let's just copy this value here. So if element dot ID equals to this. That's the one we want. So you will see that it's going to find the first name. Okay, so let's refresh. So there's our first name. So now all so now we found the column. Now remember it's filter, so we have to put the array thing into it. Uh, because it's it's filter. You can use find in here, but I don't know. Find is can be buggy when you work with undefined. So if the data comes in from the API, find is usually very buggy. Okay, so now we refresh. We will have our first name column. There it is. So now we need to simply use this function here, which is set filter value. Okay, so now we do. What am I? What am I at? So f name set filter value. Okay, let's do Di Diane. We can see that there is Diane in here. So let's just set it to Diane. And you will see that it's simply going to filter. And that's it. Whoops. Set filter value is not a function. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's because I forgot to do this. Sorry about that. Boom. Yeah, it's because it's re-rendering infinity amounts of times. Because you see, every time what happens is every time it changes the filter, this function gets triggered and now it starts to rechange the filter. <laughs> it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a bummer. So we we'll probably need to do it in use filter then. So we're gonna do it one time. Uh, yeah, we can just run this function one time. Otherwise, infinite re renders. Yeah. So now you see, boom. There we have Diane. And from here, I mean, it's very simple. Very, very simple. So now we want to put the argument in here, which is going to be arg. And then whatever we put into the arg goes into the filter. So we're going to put Diane in here. Well, let me just uncomment this so you can see that everything is working. Now we'll put Diane into the filter. And you will see that it's going to filter, right? Okay, so now it's very, very easy from here is just to, we have the function, we have the argument, so we just on create on click and that's about it. You're pretty much done at this stage. I mean, this is just giga standard JavaScript, like giga, giga standard JavaScript. Well, not JavaScript, let's put React. So for Grady, it's going to be Grady. For Tana, it's going to be Tana. And for reset, it's going to be an empty string. Because remember, the filters, when it's null, they automatically reset. And remember, every time you change the filter value, 
the table feel uh, re-renders by itself. So you don't need to create some kind of states or blah 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 to um, make the filter to re-render the table because it automatically renders for you. Okay, and that, that's that's pretty much it. Past this point, you have full knowledge of filter function, accessor function, so you can create manual filters, like if value such and such, whatever. Okay, so I'm going to leave this. Um, how I'm going to do it. So the repo is going to be called adding basic one click filter. Now, if the repo is not there, it's probably because I have deleted it. So it's going to be on the master. But this basic one filter is most likely going to be always always available. And what I'll do is I'll put a... I'll just copy and paste like this into a Google Doc. So you can then just go in and uh, have a look yourself, you know. All right. Take care. Have a good day. Bye-bye.